It's like watching a jazz solo every day. You know, like, here's what we got. Here's the room I'm in. Here's the instrument I've been given for the day. Now what am I going to do with it? I think in any culture, food always brings people together. Anytime we have a function, it brings the community together, or the staff together, or our student together. And so it's that catalyst, that really kind of bond. I think we all love food to a degree. <laughs> the flat iron steak. The strawberry rhubarb pie. Blueberry muffins. Creme brulee. They have this chicken salad that is just out of this world. Chef Chew's tofu nuggets. My favorite dish here at Fair Start is the plank steak. It's amazing. <laughs> the food here is wonderful. I think all things can be learned through the industry of food. What Fair Start offers actually applies to a large number of things out in life. My only, number one and only regret is I wish I knew about Fair Start a year and a half ago. It's just unbelievable. The blessing upon blessing upon blessings have just stacked up since I've been in Fair Start. My name is Randall, and I am a student here at Fair Start, week 14, with perfect attendance, two to go to graduate. After getting laid off, I had been having the most ridiculous problems just finding employment anywhere. I ended up losing everything I owned, slowly stooping down lower and lower, swallowing more and more pride. For a 41-year-old man to apply at McDonald's and things like that and not getting called back was really devastating. Bottom line is I'm just trying. I want what I lost back so bad and uh, who knows where to go from there. But so far, so good. Everybody walks into this place with their own kind of beautiful, and a lot of times that's been covered up by conditions. Typically, we find people who arrive here have found themselves in situations that they don't know how to make sense of and resort to what they have to do in order to survive. And when they come here, they're trying to reclaim that choice of what do I want to do with myself instead of what do I have to do. I didn't think there was nobody out there that, um, that cared to help. And uh, Fair Start took me in as I was. Hi, Chelsea, this is Paul. And um, they still care. It's been three years. They gave me hope. So I've been thinking about getting a second job, but only on the weekend. People, they have broken lives. People that are um, coming out of incarceration, people that are um, homeless, regardless of any of that, you know, they, they take you in and they just want to um, give you a better way. The culture at Fair Start was the perfect place for me to find some strengths, to slay some insecurities, and to build a future for myself. Who would have thought being homeless helped me to really pursue the thing that I love the most, and that is cooking. It's pretty cool, <laughs> figuring out what you would like to do instead of making the best out of what may not even be good for you. I didn't know what I was going to do, where I was going to go. Now that I've been out of first art for a while, everything has fallen into place. I got a house, I'm stable. I have two different skill sets. I have the restaurant industry, which I can always fall back on, and now I have this skill set, um, which is an electrician. I have a different outlook on life today than I used to. Um, you know, and Fair Start was a big part of that in my life. A really good job search tool for you. The program includes not only the culinary training, but there's also a little bit of counseling. It helps with housing. It helps to make you a more grounded person. The job that I have now, I'm in the culinary department at the W Hotel, and they have helped me recapture my life with the knowledge that I learned here at Fair Start. I do understand that it's going to take quite some time before I can earn a title of actually chef, but that is a reachable goal. That's the most rewarding feeling is to see somebody make that change and have so much confidence and knowing that later on whatever life challenge or barriers that they may have, that they can revert back to that that day, that feeling of I accomplished something, I, um, I graduated and I did something for myself. Chef Robin, graduate of Fair Start 2009.
We're fortunate that we have Robin who's been with us over a year. We've been associated with Fair Start since its very beginning. It is just very important in this community in Seattle that, that they're there. Chef Eric, Fair Start 2008. I first took on Eric around about two years ago. He came from the program. He's a great member of the team. He's got a great sense of humor, and he's got a great future if he continues the way that he's going. Without the program of Fair Start, I don't think I would have got where I am right now. When I first started, I didn't really tell anybody this, but I was terrified of just looking at the knives. Boy, that's changed. A fire lit, and I just can't get enough of it now. The students who are in the kitchen are prepping. They're either prepping food for shelter or for daycare. They have to prep for big quantities. We're prepping for thousands of people, at least 2,000, 3,000 people. So think big. Our giving back to the community that way, students know that they're contributing as well. It's a cycle. What's for lunch today? Hamburgers. We went looking for healthy, good meals for the children, and just about that time, Fair Start was starting to offer service to facilities like ours, so we've been with them ever since. We're going to stop at DESC. We serve about 180, 200 people. We've had a long-standing partnership with Fair Start. They've been very good to us. They've been serving meals here for probably about 20 years, every single night, without fail. Having good nutrition is extremely important. They're great people, they're good to work with, and they're doing something very well for our community. Help the world be a better place. Seattle's a great light, I think, for that. We're able to feed ourselves and also make sure that we're addressing the needs of the community with things that might otherwise be thrown away. Who wouldn't want to support that? I have been known to shed tears watching my friends graduate. And now it's actually going to be me standing right there in front of supporters and customers of our fine establishment here. Everybody has a different approach when they walk through these doors. We all walk in with different challenges, chef, instructor, staff, student alike. But the way you approached it, you did yourself a great honor. You not only picked up a huge amount of professional skills, you being able to acquire a job prior to graduating, which is mind-blowing. It would be a shame for the community to miss out on having a gift like you. Thank you. Randall it totally just grabbed my attention right away. Fair Start has many, many great, great students and we're lucky every once in a while to do a Fair Start dinner where we see one that just shines and we're like, oh, we want that one. Right now I'm at the opening doors of a big life change. You know, to get a full-time position at Salty's on Alki, Five Diamond Star Restaurant. How do you pay something like that back? Voila. And for a program to really care about an individual like Fair Start does, it's amazing.